welcome back um, my name is Amanda um, if you're new to my channel um, so far I've just done um, some Dollar Tree YouTube videos and I have another one today of a small Dollar Tree haul that I have and we are coming from my backyard um, of course the neighbors gonna mow um, because it's just too nice to be inside today so I thought I would just do a quick video of the things that I have so I can actually start using them. I leave them in the bag until I get to show you guys on the video. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I have real quick and um, we'll go from there. Um, first of all, I brought my drink out um, in this cup. This, I don't know that they still have, but they might. Um, it says grateful, thankful, blessed. And this is a um, probably more for coffee. I have lemonade in it right now. Um, but I got that. I just thought it was really pretty. I think it came out in the fall. So they may have them in the fall or they may have them now. I know they have them in the fall. I had another one in the um, fall. It was a maroon color and it said sweater weather. It's super cute too. Um, these are actually pretty nice. Now I wouldn't probably take these in your car or walking into work or anything because it doesn't have anything to close this off. So it will spill, but it is a step above what I was using and I still use these. These you can buy in a two pack. A lot of them are an off white color, but this one was just happy pink. Um, this one says love is in the air and it smells like coffee. That one's really cute. What I do with these cheap ones is I take these, I um, take them to work, put them in my desk drawer so that when we have um, coffee at work, I don't have to drink it out of the styrofoam cups. It's just not very good. Um, it's not quite as good as having it in one of um, my cute mugs. Um, but the reason I like these is because after I'm done with my coffee for the day, I can wash this out, put it somewhere, or put it right back in my lunch bag, and then I bring it home and I just wash them. And I don't have to worry about it getting broke. Like I used to take a coffee mug and I was always afraid to get broke. So those are really nice, just sort of, and then eventually I'll probably have to recycle them or something, but they're really nice for now, but they're um, not near as thick as this one. This is a real thick plastic. Um, every, it's just a lot nicer than this one, but I still like these because they're just so easy and um, easy to take back and forth. Um, okay, so let me get on, on with it. This is one of their Dollar Tree Skeeter Beater candles. I don't know if it works yet because um, so far we haven't had a problem with uh, mosquitoes, but around here we usually do. Um, we'll find out. So let me just kind of run through what I have real quick. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time um, showing you everything, but I wanted to show you a few things. Um, could grab some cups. Um, we can't have our normal get together at my aunt's pool for the holiday because of the guidelines of only having 10 people but we might just have maybe um, my family and my mom and up uh, for a cookout or something so it'd just be a few of us so I just got some throwaway cups but they're kind of cute they say USA on them you get eight of them in a pack so I thought that was kind of a good deal for the holiday um, speaking of my mom I'm trying to make her a little um, gift bag of stuff that I think that she would enjoy but I have to show you this bag this is the bag I want to put everything in. I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is. It's sparkly. Um, it's These are all sort of colors that she loves with the teals and the corals. And I just thought that was so beautiful. And they have so many bags. I could stand there all day and pick out bags for people because they have so many. So I have a few things from the Dollar Tree I'm going to put in that gift bag for her. Um, starting with these. These, I believe... I have learned are a dupe to the Bath and Body Works um, body wash and foaming wash. Um, what I think she's going to use these for is more of like a bubble bath. Um, I used to do bubble, or I used to do Avon, and she loved. I had a la Avon had a lavender foaming bath, and she just loved it, and she misses it so much. Um, I haven't found somebody selling Avon right now that I could get that from her. Um, so I got these um, and then I smelled them and they do have a really nice smell so I'm excited to see if she likes those to use for her bath um, we'll find out 
I'll have to ask her because I don't do too much as far as bubble baths. Um, for her bag, I also grabbed these um, Mrs. Fields oatmeal raisin cookies. It's just a dollar. I mean, I pay a dollar for a candy bar, so I don't know how many cookies you get in here. Um, maybe just three? I don't know, but I'd pay a dollar for a candy bar. I figure that's a nice snack and she likes the oatmeal raisin so I thought that would be kind of a comfort food and some comfort foaming bath and I haven't decided on this yet I kind of want to try it I kind of want to give it to her I should have got two um, but everybody's been talking about this they had all three of the kind of the Nivea which is expensive I know at Walmart and um, they had the regular one two regular ones and then they had the vanilla caramel so I probably should put that in my mom's bag. I'm still deciding because I'm kind of interested in trying it myself. But I guess I could always grab another one if they still have it when I go back for myself. And then, let's see if I got anything else for her bag. Oh, I just got that book, but that wasn't from the Dollar Tree. They did have great books today, but I want to put that book in with her bag. She likes those. Okay. Um, I gotta hurry here. I got gloves. Um, a nice little surprise for my boys. Um, I got them their own garden gloves so we can pull weeds together because I think that'll be so much fun for them. <laughs> um, they don't know about this yet. One of them behind the camera is just finding out right now. Doesn't look real happy about his new gift, but um, we got three colors of them, I think, so they can help us. We have a lot of cement and the weeds we pull them every few weeks they're back so we're gonna get on those weeds um so we got those and i find something else to show you at the register they're finally getting their hand sanitizer back of course there's a limit of one i wasn't going to take them all anyways but she let me know right away it was a limit of one so i got one i'd probably take that to work um so i got that I'm so glad that that's not gonna that's gonna start coming back to stores. Oops, there's a lid for that thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, I was excited to find these. These were on my wish list. I'm starting to cross things off my wish list since I've been trying to do these videos. I've been out looking harder than I was before. So these are the soy blend candles, and I got one in each of the beach ocean scents I love anything that's tropical or coconut or reminds me of the beach so this one's called ocean riptide that's my husband's favorite it smells good um, this one's called coconut amber and it it's definitely not super coconut so if you don't like that coconut um, I like it. It's, it reminds me of like um, sunscreen. But if you don't like that co super strong coconut smell, this does not have it. I think it, with the mix with the amber, it gives it a real smooth, um, sweet smell. And this one I think is my favorite. It's called Seafoam Surf. I love the green. It's a pretty like seafoam green. And it smells so good. It's fresh and it's like, oh, it just smells so good. So if you see those, um, we do candles more or less in the winter and then the scent things, um, the mat, uh, the melts in the summertime, but I couldn't resist those. I was super excited to find them. Can't wait to use them. Okay, back at around Valentine's Day. So this is May, what was it? Just this past Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was just this past Valentine's Day. Um, I got this pen just, I randomly grab office supplies as you know and I bought this pen there and it was after I got it I was like why didn't I buy more of them it wrote super smooth it was cute it was interesting and I have looked at every Dollar Tree and I thought well it must have been a seasonal thing they're gone randomly in my dollar store I'm walking around I think I was on a phone call so I was just trying to wrap up the phone calls so I could go pay I'm glad I did because I went down the hard, hardware automotive type stuff and the very bottom hanging was my pens. Like I don't know why they were in the 
automotive. No wonder I could never find them again. But it's so cute. It's, um, can you see it? It's got hearts. Um, it also lights up. I don't know if I need it to light up, but it's just kind of fun. And um, it's right so smooth. Um, I was so happy when I found them. I thought I would never see them again. So of course I had to buy a few of them because who knows I'll ever find them again. I don't know where they might move them next because I wasn't ever going to look in automotive for them. They also have it in this one. Uh, I don't mind it, but it's not as cute as the heart ones. It's got the little smiley faces on it, but they're by Jot. Um, as you know, Jot's a good brand. I will say that they don't have a ton of ink. I mean, I I do a lot of writing, so it seemed like it ran out a little bit faster than I expected, but they're so cute and they're so nice. So I was so excited. That was maybe the most excitement I had in the dollar store. Well, maybe, because then I found these. This was before I found the hand sanitizer at the register. They had boxes of these antibacterial wipes. Um, and I don't know if they smell like anything oceany or if they smell at all, but there was three empty boxes laying up on the shelf and I thought, wow, they got to those quick. But the one box was laying on its side and I got the very last pack of these wet wipes. I like these, I'll jump in the car if I have to go in somewhere or like um, pump gas or whatever. I like to like wipe my hands off on one side and then just kind of wipe my steering wheel off with it as well. That way I'm not, sanitizing my hand and touching the steering wheel again so I was happy to find those like I said I'm so happy to see this stuff getting back in the store finally um okay, okay so I also found in my last haul I had found these spa life masks um but I ha didn't find this one until I was at a different Dollar Tree um here closer to home the other ones I found when I went with my sister um couple towns away but these ones are natural volcanic ash and coq10 again spa life name brand you get six of them in here that has to be the best deal on masks i've found yet because usually it's a dollar for one so um and these are supposed to be really nice masks so i got to start using them and trying them because i really want to do um, a review. I, I already have a few things. I have a couple of things I want to say about, um, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to do a review on this, some of this week's stuff, hopefully tomorrow, the next day. So um, if you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe. You can hit the bell if you want a reminder. Um, hit like, let me know um, what you'd like me to see or try or review. I'll be happy to do that. Um, but I have a couple more things before I oh okay my husband found this um i might have talked about this in my other video but i really love anchors and he found some tape and it's got an anchor and can you see it very good and it was really cute so um again i don't do crafts but i do the happy planners and i can definitely find a use for that in my happy planner and oh i found these at the i need I have a thing about sunglasses. I keep buying sunglasses because one, I lose them and two, I break them and I want to have them everywhere so that when I get in whatever car, so I found these and they were kind of cute. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of the leopard print. I'm not sure what that's really called, but um, hey, for a dollar, I really like it. They have like kind of a tent in them. So I can take these to the beach and if I get a few wears out of them, for a dollar, I'm happy, but they are um, UV protectant, one dollar. Um, I got this nail polish remover. Oh, I think it might be leaking, I don't know, something's leaking. Um, but it's 100% acetone. Um, I don't like to use harsh stuff on my fingernails, but the one fingernail polish, and I'm gonna maybe do that in my review, was so hard to get off it came from the Dollar Tree and I figured I might need that to get if I ever want to take that nail polish off again so I grabbed that um as you know I've been looking and looking for these hair things I seen somebody else have on their video and I still haven't found them and I got excited when I seen this when I looked down the aisle but turns out it's not what I thought it was 
I want to find those hair things that the Dollar Tree has that have sort of the pearls on them. They're like a hair band, but they have pearls on them. Um, I seen some real similar in Marshalls the last time I was there, and they had them, um, but they were a lot more than a dollar. So I was hoping I would my Dollar Tree would get them. So I seen this, and when I looked down the aisle, I was like, there it is. But I got to it. I was like, I don't. That's not it. But and I don't even know what this is because it says fashion accessories. So then I was like, oh, it's just a bracelet, but it does have a hair thing. So I'm gonna try to use it as a hair thing because I think that would be really pretty, those little pearls on it, until I find that other one, and I'm gonna find it. Um, why I was down the hair makeup aisles, um, I did find another, a new thing for hard candy. I had seen this before, and I think it was a weird color, like blue or silver. That's not weird if you like those colors, but <laughs> it was weird for me because I don't usually wear those colors. Um, but it is, let me scooch up a little bit. It's hard candy and it's a liquid eyeliner. I haven't really done much with the liquid, but I'm going to try it. And it says it is called, there's the name of it, Java. It looks, it looks like a really pretty color. So it was hard candy, $1. I was excited about that. I seen some other hard candy stuff in my store. I didn't buy it again. I'm not just gonna go in there and buy things because they're new and exciting. I have to have a good reason to justify the dollars that I do spend. So I didn't buy the other hard candy. They were a little bit more dramatic than I do with my makeup or the, either the colors or the boldness of them. So I didn't do them, but they're out there. If you are looking for hard candy and you only wanna spend a dollar to try them, they have them at these Dollar Trees. I'm telling you, you gotta go find them though. You have to look hard too. That packaging doesn't stand out real. Um, takes me a while to like realize I'm standing right in front of um, the name brand. Um, on my last video, I showed you this new thing that I found, but I found another color that I wanna try. And it's the by LA Colors. And it was only one in my store. And this one is called Magnetic. I forget, what's the other one called? Cosmic, I think. No, it's Cosmic Lip, Lip Topper. What was the name of it? It had another name too. I showed it in my other video. If you remember, I kind of made a mess of that one, so I'm gonna be careful with this one because I it mixed with my lipstick. But I know the other one smelled really good. Yep, this one smells good too. I don't even know what that is, but they smell so good. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. I have a mirror and things, but feels nice, it smells nice. And that one didn't get lipstick all over it, so that's good. But I would definitely get that if you're interested. You can wear that on top of your lipstick to give it kind of a shimmer, which I like that look, especially right now, this time of year. And these are new, I think. I have not seen them, and they're hard to find, but that's the last one I could find. Okay, last but not least, um, I decided I would be brave and try something unusual from the Dollar um, Tree. I don't have high hopes, <laughs> but I have a backup plan. I found that they have these individual pillowcases. Now, don't go buy a pillowcase if you, don't skimp on your comfort. Um, if you like the high quality sheets and pillowcases, you should get them. Um, just recently I've had a lot of issues sleeping and if you have stuff that makes you comfortable and you can sleep, stick with that because I'm thinking these aren't gonna be the greatest thing ever. But I do, like I said, I do have a backup plan. Um, this was beautiful. That's what caught my eye. I didn't even know it was a pillowcase. I like the pattern in that. I thought it was super pretty. And this is 100% polyester. Um, so I grabbed that because I thought, you know, even if I don't want to lay my head on that pillowcase, I have a lot of extra pillows I usually prop up when I'm watching a show or something at night. I thought, well, I'll just put that on the ones I don't lay my head on if, if I don't like the feel of it. Of course, I need to wash it. So maybe I will do that by the time I get to my review video. But I thought that was pretty. And another idea I had, if it turns out that it's terrible, um, you crafters could probably craft something out of that. Put that on a um, canvas or something, make a bulletin board, 
I don't know. I'm sure you guys have great ideas, but I just like that pattern. I just thought it was so pretty, and it matches our bedroom, too. Then I just, out of curiosity, and I didn't really want black, but that's all I could find. Um, I did get one in satin, and I didn't feel it. But this one, I feel like I can't really tell until I wash it, but the satin one, I should be able to. Okay, that feels pretty nice. Let me show you the size of them. So it's pretty much your standard size, if anything, a little bigger, but I think it's standard size. But if, if you can see, it kind of has a pretty pattern on it too. Again, again, crafters, you could use this for something. You could take that apart and make a little bulletin board or something. But I'm gonna try that one too as a pillowcase first. And then I'm gonna have to get creative if I don't like them. Cause like I said, I don't like to spend a dollar on something I'm not gonna use. So I'll let you know on that. I might have that added in on my review. Um, I still need to get back to Big Lots because a couple people said they would like to see Big Lots. So I might work on that. I don't know, there's just so much good stuff always coming in at the Dollar Tree. And the one Dollar Tree I see in their shelves are cleared off, so I'm real anxious to see what's going on in those shelves. <laughs> So that's all I have. It wasn't a huge amount of things, but it was the stuff that I wanted to get out of the bag so I can start using them. So I want to show you guys first what's out there so you can get to your Dollar Tree, get these good deals. Um, I've been pretty much happy with most of the things I got. Got a little bit of advice on a couple of things and I will share that next time. So if you could, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, press like, um, comments will be great anything helps i'm new i'm just getting started here so um i really appreciate you watching my video and subscribing or anything at all um i will see you soon bye